Hi guys, so today in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a Christmas tree hair clip. The material that you're going to need for this hair clip is your ribbon. You're going to need one 4 inch brown piece of grow grain ribbon to line an alligator clip, which I've already done here. If you want to go back to my previous videos which shows you how to do that, you can do that. Um, very simple and I also put a no slip hair grip right here on the inside. And then you are also going to need your green ribbon. For the Christmas tree, you're going to need two 3 inch pieces of grow grain ribbon and 3 eighths of an inch. You're going to need two 2 and a half inch pieces of grow grain ribbon in that same color. You're going to need two more pieces in 2 inches and then two more pieces in 1 and a half inch. You're also going to need one piece of red with white polka dot ribbon cut at 5 inches. And you're also going to need a ruler or a tape measure to measure your ribbon. You're going to need your scissors to cut your ribbon. You're going to need a lighter to heat seal the ends of your ribbon after you have cut it or cut them. <laughs> sorry, uh, this will prevent the ribbon on the ends from fraying or unraveling. And um, you're also going to need a little rhinestone, or you could do a button, whatever you choose. Uh, this will be used for your bow on top of the Christmas tree. You're also going to need your hot glue gun. So to get started, once you have partially lined your alligator clip or fully lined it, however you want to do that, um, we will go ahead and get started with putting the leaves on the tree. So starting with your biggest green ribbon, um, you are going to take one of them, because I've got them, you know, kind of together. Um, you're going to take one of them, you're going to take a three inch piece, and you're going to fold it up like this, where this end meets the middle of this bottom piece, just like that. You see there. And then make sure that your hair clip is facing you. The part that you actually grab to open up your clip is facing at you. Um, this is going to be the trunk of your Christmas tree. And then you're just going to hot glue that down right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to, once you get your ribbon folded over, place a dab of glue right here. I think it's time I invest in a new hot glue gun. Mine has been giving me problems. Okay. <laughs> Alright, once you get your glue on there, you're going to fold your ribbon up where this part meets the middle of the bottom piece. Just like that. I don't know if you can see. Some bright ribbon. Uh, you can use any color of green ribbon you want. Mine's kind of like a kind of like a lime green looking color. You can get a darker color though if you want. And then once you have done that, you are going to place it right here down at the bottom, just like that. And kind of angle it where it's kind of at a downward angle, because that's how Christmas trees normally look. So on the bottom of this, on the back, put some glue right here. Just a dot. And we'll place it on here like this. Then we're going to do the same for the other side. Take your last three inch piece of ribbon, place a dot of glue. Let's see. We're actually going to go the opposite way with this one. So we're going to put some glue right there. Bring your ribbon up. Make sure that this side is touching the middle of that bottom piece. Okay, so once we have done that, we are going to now place it just like this, right over the middle of this one that we just laid down. So put a dot of glue right here, and then take your ribbon and place it right there in the middle. Okay, so once we have done that, we've now got the bottom part of our tree started. So next we are going to take one of our two and a half inch pieces and do the same thing and just work our way up. So place a dot of glue over here, bottom of your ribbon, bring your ribbon up, make sure the middle or the side of this top ribbon is touching the middle of the bottom one. 
hold it down for a minute, make sure the glue sticks. Okay, and then we are going to take this one and we are going to place it just right over the top of this one. As you can see here, just going to place it right over the top. So just turn it over and put some glue on the back. Just lay it over the top. Kind of angle it down. Looks like this. We're going to do the same with the other side. Take your last two and a half inch piece, put some glue right here on the edge. Bring this one up. And then we are going to place this one over the top of this one, just like that. So put some glue on the back. So basically what we're doing is we're just overlapping the pieces as we work our way up to the shortest piece of ribbon. Next we're going to take our two inch piece and do the same thing. Put your glue on the edge, bring your top over, making sure the middle is, or making sure the top of your ribbon right there at the edge is meeting the middle of the bottom piece of ribbon. I actually did this one for that side, so I'm going to go on ahead and do my other piece here. Okay, so once you've got that piece, put some glue on the back and place it right over the top. We'll do the same to our other side. Some glue on the back. Okay. So we're going to take our last two pieces, which is the one and a half inch, and we are going to place those on. I got a little too much glue on that one. Okay, so we're going to put some glue on the back of this one. Place that one up here at the top. some glue stick in there. Okay, now we're going to take our last piece, some glue over here on this edge, bring this one up, okay, once we got it like that, turn it over, oops, place some glue right here on the back, and overlap it here at the top. And once you have got the top done, we will add the bow up here, so we'll get started on that. Now there's very many different ways that you can make ribbon for the top of a Christmas tree. The easiest way that I find to make one is very simple. You just take your ribbon, your 5 inch piece, now you can do plain red or you can do red with polka dot, totally up to you. I'm going to heat seal the ends. Just lightly run your lighter across the ends there until you feel it sealed. What you're going to do is you're going to cross it kind of like you do an awareness bow, just like that. 
and you can do however much length you want down here at the ends for your bow. But once you get it crossed, you're going to place a dot of glue right here on the middle back where it's solid red, right there in the middle. Okay, so once you have done that, and I've got glue all over my fingers, um, you're going to take this and you're going to press it against the middle there. And then you can take your top piece here, bend it back, place some glue right there in the center, and fold that back down. Okay, so once you have done that, you will, I find that by doing this helps your bow look more fluffier, squeezing the sides there, inward. Place a dot of glue right here in the middle on the back of your bow. And then you're going to place that at the top of your tree. Now obviously we don't want our um, we don't want our bow tails to be that long. I mean, if you want them to be that long, you can. I like mine to be a little bit shorter, though. So, before I cut the tails of my ribbon, we'll place the rhinestone, or the button, or if you don't want to do anything at all, it's totally up to you. Uh, just place a dot of glue on the back of your rhinestone. Place that right there in the center of your bow. And just hold it down for a second until it's held. Just like that. Then I like to take my scissors let's see, and just cut up like that. And then of course you want to heat seal those ends once you have cut them so they don't fray. And you have a finished Christmas tree hair clip. Thank you guys for watching.